It's not very often that I talk about what happened in October of 1995. Um, that was the year that my family lost my cousin Tanya. And the theme of this week is to discuss your deepest fear or to confront your fear. And there's a lot of fears out there. And there's a lot of things that people can be afraid of that, that are to deal with themselves. It's You can deal with your fear of animals, your fear of water, or your fear of whatever. Um, but for me, my biggest fear is that... the world will forget my cousin Tanya. She used to laugh and she used to sing and she used to dance around and she was a rebel and she would steal scrunchies from the, the, the drugstore and she would make jokes that weren't appropriate and but at the very core of it, she was somebody who loved life and somebody that life loved. And that was taken away when she was 16. That was 14 years ago um, by a man who is now in jail for the rest of his life. And my greatest fear is that My greatest fear is that the, that people won't realize how great of a person that she was and how much she touched the life of so many people, not just while alive, but after she was killed. And that's my biggest fear, is that the rest of the world won't remember her. My family has, my family was torn apart by this tragedy. And this is the 14th anniversary, just the other day on, on Face Your Fears Day this came up and it brought back so much and my family has been torn apart by what happened to my cousin and everybody just wants to forget the pain and everybody just wants to not have to think about it and my biggest fear is that the people who love her the most are the people who don't want to remember her because of how much it hurts them. And for me, I know that the last time that I saw her, about six months before she was killed, the last thing, for whatever reason, her other, her sister was there. My aunt was there, other mem family members were there, and I just, for whatever reason, I walked up to her when she was leaving and I said, I love you. And she turned to me and said, you too. And that was, for me, that was the last time that I saw her. And I just, my biggest fear is that people will forget her. And that at some point, because I don't have that many photographs of her, and I don't have I don't have any videotape of her, and I have nothing that that 
carries on to her laugh, her infectious laugh, and, and the way that she lit up a room, and I don't have those things to remember her by. I just have... What's... What's in my heart that I remember, and what's in my head that I remember... So that's that's my biggest fear is that not only will the world forget how great that she was, but that a piece of her will slowly dissolve away inside my head without these photographs or without these videos or audio recordings of her voice that I don't have and the family either the fa in my family the ones that do have them stash them away and don't want to listen to them or pass them around because it brings up too many harsh memories of the way that she died but for me that's my biggest fear is that the world might forget Tanya Selena Smith the way that she was before she was taken away and the way that I remember her and the way that my family has been trying to forget the way that she passed and in that process pushing her out of the boundaries of their mind and that's my biggest fear and I don't talk like this I don't I don't open myself up like this to the to the internet and the world and whatever but 14 years is way too long to just push this aside and not talk about it because if this is the time to face a fear, then I'm going to face it and I'm going to try to do something about it and make sure that not just me but the rest of the world remembers who she was and how she was. and how much that she meant not just to me but the people around her so this is my way of not letting this happen not letting the world forget about her and facing my fear 